Welcome to the operator training for the Hobart Prep Washer. The answer to volume utensil washing problems in your kitchen, bakery, or supermarket location. This video will cover the operation, programming, cleaning, and maintenance of your Hobart Prep Washer. If you have any questions, please refer to the manual that came with your machine. Operation. The following is a description of the operation of the machine. Begin by pressing the power button. The model number of your machine will be displayed. And the washer will perform a self-check. This takes five seconds. The fill icon will light. This indicates that the dishwasher is filling with water. If the door is open during the fill cycle, the fill will stop. After the door is closed, the fill process continues. During fill, the sump temperature is displayed. When filled, the machine will maintain an idle state. Heat is maintained in both the sump and the booster. The warming up icon will display when the booster is preheating. This preheat could take up to 25 minutes. When the machine indicates that it is ready and the sump temperature is displayed, the dishwasher may be loaded. Open the door. Slide the rack out to load wear. Different racks may be used to accommodate different types of wear. When loading is complete, slide the rack into the dishwasher. Then close the door. Select the wash cycle desired. Cycle 2 is a 2-minute wash followed by a 10 to 12 second fresh water rinse. Cycle 4 is a 4-minute wash cycle followed by a 10 to 12 second fresh water rinse. And cycle 6 is a 6 minute wash cycle followed by a 10 to 12 second fresh water rinse. All rinse cycles are followed by a 5 second pause. Advances models will have a varying condensing time between 99 and 190 seconds. On the PW10ER and the PW20ER Advances models, the door is locked and must remain closed until the condensing cycle is completed. During the condensed cycle, a countdown icon shows the remaining cycle time. When the cycle is finished, the condense icon disappears and the condensing cycle light turns off. The door will unlock. Note, the minimum wash tank temperature is 150 degrees. Minimum rinse temperature is 180 degrees. Press the wash button. The wash icon will light and the sump temperature will be displayed. During rinse, the rinse icon will be displayed and the rinse temperature will be indicated on the display. If power is pressed during the cycle, the machine will drain and shut down. When the wash rinse cycle is complete, the ready light will be displayed along with the sump temperature. Unload the machine. Reload the machine for the next wash rinse cycle. The machine will drain and shut down if the four hour idle shutdown time is reached. At the end of the day, press power. The machine will drain and shut down. Drain and shutdown in progress will be displayed until shutdown is complete. Programming. All customization is performed through the on-screen menu using the up arrow, menu, down arrow, and the enter key located on the keypad on the lower right of the machine. The following prompts are used inside the menus. The up arrow and the menu down arrow keys are used to change parameter values and to navigate the menu. The enter key is used to accept a value, to perform a specific action, or to enter a submenu. Menus are navigated by using the keys to navigate up and down the available list of choices. The PW Series Prep Washer's microprocessor allows customization options for machine operation. To activate or change these features, the programming edit mode must be entered using a manager code. The default manager code is 1001. Note, keep the prep washer clean to provide the best results. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants. Do not wash aluminum utensils in the prep washer. The caustic detergent and high water temperature will cause aluminum oxide formation. 
Copper utensils may require polishing to remove oxide formation after exposure to utensil washer cleaning for a period of time. Stainless steel utensils should clean quickly and easily if the food soil is not baked on. It may be necessary to scrub or pre-wash some hard-to-remove substances which may not come clean in the prep washer with even a six-minute washing. For stubborn food soil, a plastic scraper, plastic abrasive pad, nylon bristle brush, or sponge with abrasive surface, such as Scotch-Brite, may be used before washing in the prep washer. Never use steel wool on wear to be loaded into the prep washer. Use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Rinse items thoroughly after scrubbing to remove metallic debris. Cleaning. Warning. Disconnect the electrical power to the machine and follow lockout, tagout procedures. There may be multiple circuits. Be sure all circuits are disconnected. The prep washer must be thoroughly cleaned at the end of each working shift. Use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Never use steel wool to clean the machine surfaces. Spray down the inside of the machine with the wand. Press power. The machine will drain. When the display is no longer lit, the machine is fully drained and powered down. Remove tray and racks. To remove the upper rinse arm and wash arm, unscrew the rinse arm by loosening the tabbed ring at the top of the rinse arm. Remove both the rinse and wash arms at the same time, being careful not to drop the arms. Remove the lower rinse arm and wash arm by loosening the tabbed ring at the bottom of the rinse arm. Remove both the rinse arm and the wash arm, being careful not to drop the arms. Clean the rinse and wash arms in a sink. Clear any blockage from the arms. Remove the strainer pans and strainer baskets. Empty them into a waste disposer or garbage container. Do not bang the strainer pan or basket to remove food soil. Wash and rinse strainer pans and strainer baskets thoroughly. With a damp cloth, wipe the interior and exterior of the machine. Do not use steel wool. Spray down the sump. Turn the machine on for two minutes to fill. Turn off the machine to flush the sump. Remove any remaining debris with a mild cleanser formulated for stainless steel and a soft cloth or brush. Carefully reinstall the pans and strainer basket. Reinstall the lower wash and rinse arms. Reinstall the upper wash arms. Use a soft, damp cloth or sponge and mild cleanser to clean the control keypad and display. Do not use abrasive or harsh cleansers or scouring pads. Leave the doors open to allow the interior to dry and air out. Notice, do not use the spray hose to spray down the exterior of the machine. For models PW10ER and PW20ER, in addition to normal cleaning, the baffles, located on the upper chamber on the inside of the machine may need periodic cleaning. Note that the PW20ER will have two sets of baffles. Loosen and remove the nut from the front baffle and remove the baffle by sliding the tab out of the retainer. Debris may collect on the top surface of the baffles and should be washed in a sink with mild detergent and rinsed. Replace all removed parts. Do's and Don'ts The following are do's and don'ts for your Hobart prep washer. Do ensure proper water hardness, 3 grains or less per gallon. Total dissolved solids, TDS, must be 50 ppm or greater. Chlorides must not exceed 50 ppm. Do pre-scrape dishes thoroughly. Do use only detergents recommended by your chemical professional. Do thoroughly clean, rinse, and dry the machine by leaving the door open at the end of the day. Do closely follow the machine's deliming schedule. Do use only products formulated to be safe for use on stainless steel. Do not use detergents formulated for residential dishwashers. Do not allow food soil to accumulate in the tank bottom. 
do not exceed the chemical manufacturer's recommended concentrations for detergent, rinse aid, or lime scale remover. Do not use steel wool to clean wear or wear washer surface. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants. Maintenance and deliming. Warning. Disconnect the electrical power to the machine and follow lockout, tagout procedures. There may be multiple circuits. Be sure all circuits are disconnected. All wash arms and rinse arms should turn freely and continue turning for a few seconds after being whirled by hand. To check, rotate the arms and remove any obstructions causing improper operation. If the strainer pans and strainer basket are not properly in place, obstructions such as food particles, toothpicks, or other debris may clog the wash arm nozzles. Warning! Deliming solution must not come in contact with bleach or rinse solution containing bleach. Mixing may cause hazardous gas to form. This entire procedure must be followed step by step for safe and satisfactory results. The dishwasher should be delimed on a regular basis as required. How often depends on the mineral content of the water. Deliming should be done when you can see clear signs of lime deposits on the inside walls of the wash and rinse arms and tank heater. Inspect the machine interior for lime deposits. If deliming is necessary, a deliming agent should be used for best results. All prep washers are equipped with an automatic delime cycle reminder. It is recommended that deliming be done when delime recommended is lit. PW10ER and PW20ER models are equipped with an internal delime pump, which will automatically pump the required amount of deliming agent into the unit. After the pre-programmed number of cycles has expired, the control will indicate the delime request by displaying delime recommended and will prompt would you like to delime now you must enter yes or no to proceed with a delime cycle or to continue with normal machine operation if no is selected the machine will continue to notify the operator at each startup and power down until the delime cycle is completed to delime the unit press the menu down arrow key until the greater than symbol is shown to the left of yes and press the enter key. Remove the rack from the machine. Be sure that the strainers are clean. Replace the strainers and racks. Close the door. On the PW10ER and PW20ER machines, ensure that the D-Limer chemical container is not empty. Be sure to push the delivery tube standpipe completely to the bottom of the container. Check to make sure there are no obstructions or kinks in the delivery tube. Press the Enter key to enter the D-Lime mode. The machine will drain and refill with fresh water. On PW10 and PW20 machines, after the D-Liming agent has been added, close the door, press the Enter key to continue the cycle. The machine will enter the wash mode for about 25 minutes. Then we'll begin two rinse and drain operations. The total time to complete the D-Lime operation will be about 45 minutes. On PW10ER and PW20ER machines, the unit will automatically enter the wash mode for about 40 minutes. Then we'll begin two rinse and drain operations. The total time to complete the D-Lime operation will be about 1 hour and 40 minutes. After the deliming operation is completed, power to the control will be turned off. Inspect the interior of the machine for lime deposits. If necessary, another delime cycle can be initiated by entering manager programming mode. Notice, do not allow deliming agent to remain in the machine longer than recommended by the deliming agent manufacturer. After deliming, Run the machine through two six-minute cycles with no utensils in order to rinse and flush the machine interior. If you have any problems, check the troubleshooting tips in the operator manual that came with your machine or contact Hobart Service.
This has been the operator training for the Hobart PW10 and PW20 prep washers.